In Tahoe, July 17, 1982, a group of hikers found a dead woman several hundred yards off of the Mount Rose Highway. At the time, detectives had no idea who she was. She had been fatally shot in the back of the head, execution style. Forensics determined that she had been dead approximately 24 hours before her body was found. Detectives assumed that because the body was fresh, they would make rapid progress in solving the case. However, the killer left no clues, and detectives were never able to identify who the woman was. And she was termed the Sheep's Flat Jane Doe, and became one of many unsolved cold cases. Until 2019 when Washoe County homicide detectives announced that they had solved the murder case. Using DNA technology, they were finally able to identify the woman as Mary Edith Silvani, who was 33 years old at the time of her death. They were also able to identify the man who ruthlessly shot Mary. That man was identified as James Richard Curry. In 1982, Curry, who was the manager of a storage lot in Santa Clara, had confessed to killing a couple who ran a rival storage facility in the San Jose area. Curry had shot the man, Gerald Novoselots, and kidnapped and sexually assaulted his wife before killing her elsewhere. While in custody, Curry also confessed to fatally shooting Richard Lemon Jr. of Bakersfield and told detective where to find his body stashed in a Santa Clara storage unit. He then killed himself while in prison before ever being sentenced for the three murders he had confessed to. But Curry had never mentioned killing Mary Silvani in Tahoe, and while it's unclear why he decided to shoot her that night, it does bring into question whether or not he was responsible for other deaths in the Nevada region. On September 21, 1975, the remains of 23-year-old Joanna Robinson were discovered in a shallow grave. Her remains were nearby Derby Dam, an exit along Interstate 80 east of Reno, Nevada. Her cause of death could not be determined. However, based upon the circumstances and the fact she was last seen in Oregon, the case is being investigated as a homicide. On March 25, 1979, body of 20-year-old Julia Woodward was discovered in the hills near Lemon Valley, Nevada, north of Reno. She had been en route from San Francisco Airport to seek employment in the South Lake Tahoe area. She died of blunt force trauma to the head. On November 2, 1979, the skeletal remains of Jeannie Smith, age 17, were found in Lemon Valley, Nevada. She died as a result of blunt force trauma. Her remains were found in a shallow grave about one mile from where Julia Woodward had been discovered in March of the same year. On June 5, 1979, Sherry Harbiki, age 20, was found severely decomposed under a mattress along North Virginia Street in North Reno. She had been shot to death. These murders all took place a couple years before Curry's 1982 killing spree and police never really had a valid person of interest for the cases. So was it possible that these women were another one of Curry's victims? Investigators believe that Julia and Jeannie were killed by the same person. Their bodies were found in the same general area, and they were both killed by blunt force trauma to the head. But Curry shot all four of his victims to death. And with both Julia and Jeannie going missing within a couple of months from one another, the killer most likely lived in the area. Not much is known about Joanna Robinson's case or her cause of death. All that is known is that like Julia Woodward, she traveled to Tahoe for work. And then there's Sherry Harbiki. Unlike the other women, she was shot to death and in the back of the head, just like Mary Silvani was. It's unclear what the motives were behind each four women's deaths. And since Curry is dead, their cases may only be solved if there was any DNA evidence left.